My name is John Paul. I live in Highland. I grew up in Shreveport. I went to public school in the magnet system, uh, graduated in 2001, and went away to college and grad school and law school, and then decided that I was tired of living in big cities and I wanted to move back home to a nice sized city where uh, it was easy to make friends and know your neighbors and you had space to grow a garden and start a business and meet new people. Well, I have been interested in capturing some of the wealth that is wasted in our city and in our region, uh, particularly our rainwater, for a long time. And I realized that one way to do that and to spread the word that we could uh, have uh, a more stable environment where we had uh, better ability to grow crops to feed our population and um, supply our restaurants with delicious food like they do in California or other countries would be to um, start to passively capture it um, and that the government could uh, play a big role in doing that. Um, first of all, by paying for it, also by finding land or by incentivizing it. And also, um, you know, paying for uh, nonprofits at, like Shreveport Green and other organizations to do the same thing. My, so my first, my first goal was uh, food security for our city and particularly um, the ability to uh, generate wealth beyond security. When I learned more about the job, um, I became interested in some of the other or many of the other responsibilities that it has, particularly animal control. Uh, we've had a long standing history here of um, overpopulation because of just careless breeding, just like irresponsible pet ownership from a modern perspective. And uh, so I've put a lot of effort into trying to control that. I uh, also became interested in different forms of mosquito control, which is something that we do here in the parish government and like maybe isn't, you know, a very attractive topic to some people, but like, there's nothing more attractive than not being bitten by a mosquito. So it takes some planning to achieve that. And so uh, I've put some effort into that as well. Uh, there are other topics, of course, that I like uh, to work on. Zoning uh, is a huge one. Uh, you know, a zoning policy can be exercised over an entire jurisdiction and it can have the effect of constantly by small amounts suppressing economic activity or constantly by small amounts increasing it. And, you know, you have to make sure that it's moving in the right direction and not the wrong one. My favorite thing about District 4 probably is the restaurants and the walkability. There are many neighborhoods where it's safe and appealing to stroll around before or after dinner. There are many uh, fine eating establishments, uh, not just fast food chains and stuff like that, but really local, um, passionate people about producing uh, edible and drinkable culture in District 4. Uh, preventing abandonment, uh, which is the first step, and then blight and crime follow. Uh, is one of my major goals for our district. And so I'm very interested also in historic preservation of Highland and South Highland because of the structure's beauty. There's so many fabulously constructed homes that can't be reproduced anymore. Uh, so my favorite things about Caddo Parish are um, the beautiful homes and parks and civic infrastructure from downtown to um, South Highlands in particular and also the uh, beautiful countryside around Ellerby Road where my parents have a property uh, and you know, life seems peaceful and perfect. Uh, well, probably most people know that I have two wonderful dogs and that's part of the reason that I care so much about other people's dogs because I have that same feeling for my dogs. They're both shepherd mixes. Um, I'm a hobby farmer and I also have pet ducks and chickens. And something that everybody should know is that duck eggs are way healthier and tastier than chicken eggs. And you can, you can have ducks in your yard and they are not a nuisance. <laughs>